Criterion Jaw joystick. Yeah, it's an old school video game controller. Yeah. In fact, when I said we were gonna draw a joystick, you said, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know what one is. You just yeah. needed a reminder. Mm -hmm. We hope you get to follow along with us. What do they need? A marker, some paper, and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Yeah. Let's first draw a circle towards the top of our paper. We're gonna draw it about this size. Come around and connect at the top. You did it! Next, we're gonna draw two short lines coming straight down from the bottom of our circle. Then we're gonna draw a curve down here to connect those two. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the left side, curves around, and connects to the other side. A little tricky. Oh, you did it. Good job. Now we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and also on the right. Then we can connect those two diagonal lines with another curve that matches up here. I like how yours is turning out. It's really cool that yours is different than mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Mm -hmm. We're practicing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. We're going to add more curves that come around. I'm going to just draw two more curves that come around that bottom shape. Now we're going to draw the rest of the controller. It's like a square. Uh, base to our joystick and we're also going to draw it 3D so it looks even cooler. We're going to draw two lines that come out from each side of the joystick. Yeah, and we want those to line up and also to be the same length. So I'm going to draw these out just a little further. Maybe you could even draw yours further too. I like how small you're drawing yours. Good. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and also down over here on the right. We don't want to go too far past the joystick, but a little extra space down here because we need another little button. Now we're going to connect these two lines with a horizontal line at the bottom to connect the two diagonal side lines. All right, now let's draw. We'll draw a short line coming straight down on the left and also on the right. Now let's connect these two lines also. I'm going to turn my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it easier to draw a straight line. All right, we did it, except we're missing one more little button. We're going to draw an oval shape right here in the corner, about this size. Yeah, or a circle. I like that too. And then we could draw two short lines on each side of that shape. <laughs> then we're going to connect those two lines at the bottom with the same curve as our circle. We did it, Austin. We finished drawing our joystick. You did a great job, man. Except we still need to do one more thing to our drawing to make it look even cooler. Color it. Yeah, this part is my favorite. I like coloring too. <laughs> this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome, great job on coloring your joystick. It turned out so cool. Thank you, I like yours too. Oh, thanks. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, we use biannual markers. Now you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. What was the number of this color that we used? R107. Yes, that's our favorite red is R107. Now I also used a white color pencil to go back over and add some highlights. We also use CGO3 for the little the little bar right here, CGO5 for this part, and CGO7 Seven. Seven for the main part. I also added a cable, a power cable, because um, these were not wireless back then. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your joystick. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because... The most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. You could also even add more things to your drawing, like a background, which could be the monitor. Yeah. Maybe there's an old school game playing back there. Mm -hmm. 
Do you even know an old school game? Mario. Oh yeah, but yeah, it's not quite old school the way that I was thinking about old school. But for you, that works well. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.